Bear Science started uh, back in the fall of uh, 1968, so it's one of the first programs that was here. And it's gone from just a fire officer program. Uh, we now have about 50 different programs, classes, and uh, all of our courses are Illinois Department of Public Health approved or Office of State Fire Marshal approved. So anybody coming here is gonna get the, whatever certifications they're looking for. And we not only do we have uh, classroom classes uh, scheduled throughout the day, throughout the week, we also have online classes. We've got eight online classes, which encompass most of the fire officer programs. There are several degrees. There's a fire science degree is uh, 64 hours of uh, classes. 29 of those are related to the fire service itself. The EMS degree is a, it's a two-year degree and uh, it uses the paramedic program. Uh, we give 32 hours for the paramedic and then there's another 32 hours that you need in general education to, uh, in order to complete the degree. We also have some certifications. We have a firefighter certification. We have a fire prevention certification, which will be expanding. Uh, we've just got approval to do the fire prevention officer program we're gonna be putting on here probably in the fall. And we also have a fire officer certification, which encompasses the nine courses that are necessary to uh, get a certification in the state of Illinois as a, as a fire officer one and two. The uh, firefighting job is not a, a normal nine to five job. Most of the fire departments require that you work 24 hours on from six, seven, eight in the morning until the following morning. So you're there for 24 hours. You have two days off, uh, so you have 48 hours off. So it's 24, 48, they call it 24, 48 shift. Typical day would be you'd come in, you check equipment when you get in there in the morning, and then you'll have breakfast usually with the guys. We'll talk about what's going on during the, the day, what we hope to accomplish. Uh, there's training that goes on. There's, of course, there's calls that uh, interrupt things that are you're trying to do during the day. We have fire prevention. We go out, we do inspections of buildings. Most of the departments do inspections like that. And normally our days are done uh, you know, by five, six o'clock, so we can sit down and have supper. Of course, lunch falls in between there someplace. Uh, you don't normally get to eat a, a regular meal. You Normally when you sit down to eat a meal, the alarm goes off, so you have to run out and fight a fire or, or rescue somebody or uh, do CPR. So you come back, you have a cold meal, or you, you warm it up again. That's pretty much a typical day, a 24-hour day, and uh, there's a lot of things that happen, and uh, you know, sweep the floors and do the laundry and keep things neat and so on, because this is your home away from home. You're gonna be gone one-third of your career, which can be anywhere between 20 and 30 years. Uh, most firefighters now are working 30 years. You get 30 years, you get a pretty good pension after you're there for 30 years and some other benefits, insurance, and things like that. A student that uh, comes into our program, uh, they have to be 18 years old usually to, to start in the program. They should take emergency medical technician, which is EMT, Fire 2271. That's uh, usually the stepping stone that you need to get into the fire service. Most fire departments won't even uh, talk to you or even let you come on as a part-time firefighter unless you do have uh, an EMT. And then the other course I always recommend is the Introduction to Fire Science, which is Fire 1100. And uh, both of those courses build on all the rest of the courses in the uh, degree program. To be a full-time firefighter, you have to be between the ages of 21 and 35 and meet certain requirements of the particular fire department, which could be nothing all the way up to paramedic firefighter too. And some of them want, even want degrees, so you really have to check with each fire department and see what they require. When you look at the, the list and you see what the department is looking for, if they have a lot of requirements, they want you to be a paramedic, they want you to be a firefighter too, maybe a hazmat uh, technician or something like that, they're looking for people who have already gone to school, have got these accreditations from the different uh, community colleges or wherever they've gotten their uh, certifications from. Best to make yourself marketable. If you make yourself marketable with EMT and paramedic and, and if you can get firefighter two or some of the hazardous materials classes, that'll make you a better candidate to get on a fire department. For more information on COD's fire science technology and emergency medical technician programs, visit their pages on the web at www.cod.edu.